The next number up today is six as in six weeks. That's how long it's been since St. Louis County Prosecutor Robert McCullough came to tell the world that a grand jury would not indict Officer Darren Wilson in the tragic shooting of Michael Brown. But yesterday, Robert McCullough was hit by a lawsuit by a member of that grand jury in an attempt to shed light on the grand jury's proceedings. The basic claim here, as is laid out in the New York Times, is that there were abnormalities in the way that the grand jury operated that the world should know about, and also to counter the claims that grand jurors found that there was not enough evidence to indict indict Officer Darren Wilson. Now, as we've spoken about here before, grand jury proceedings are secret, but the Supreme Court has ruled in the past that grand jurors can sue to exercise their First Amendment rights of free speech, and that's what's happening here, so we'll just have to keep an eye on what actually happens. But all of this just underscores another thing that we've spoken about here before, and that is the fact that what happened in the Ferguson grand jury counteracts almost a thousand years of Anglo-American jurisprudence, which is why, to put it succinctly, it continues to be a mess.